So plant gang, here we have a really one of the great late summer fall blooming perennial plants for the shade garden, Triceris formosana, the toad lily. Uh, it has a beautiful, uh, almost kind of star shaped three part flower here uh, that is really coming alive here in the late part of the season. I'm here with a variegated cultivar. There's a lot of different cultivars uh, where the flower color ranges from kind of whites to pinks uh, to even kind of deep velvety colors. Uh, and then also foliage that's either variegated or not variegated. Uh, but definitely one that you want to think about adding to the shade landscape for fall to late summer interest. So this Triceris, this toad lily is a herbaceous perennial. Uh, it's a lily, uh, a lily plant, lily ACE. Uh, it's not native to North America, it's from Thailand. Hardy from zones four through nine, gets about two to three foot high, can spread out about two foot wide would be kind of an average uh, spread for this plant. Bloom time, August, September, early October, even in some conditions. Uh, blooms can be white, reddish purple, uh, with yellow throats, some different colors available uh, based on the different cultivars. Uh, part shade uh, to full shade is what this really likes to, uh, to be in. It can actually handle some pretty wet conditions as well. Uh, and so if you've got a wetter spot in your landscape uh, in the shade, uh, this might be a good one to add to that area. So let's talk about some ID characteristics. If you were to hold up a stem, it does have a little bit of a zigzaggy nature to it. Uh, the leaf comes right off the main stem of the plant with the sheath of the leaf almost kind of encapsulating the stem. Uh, both the leaves and the stems tend to have uh, pubescence on them, a little bit of fuzziness. Uh, you need to protect these or at least watch out uh, for slugs and snail problems because they can be a little bit of a problem. Uh, not a massive problem, I would say, uh, but it's definitely some of the things, one of the things that you want to look out for. Here's a landscape tip. Best sighted in areas where they can be observed at close range because the beauty and detail of the small flower tends to get lost if plants cannot be examined and appreciated up close.